What's up everybody? Hope you're all having a wonderful day today. My name is Liran from AutoDS. I'm the content manager and I've also been dropshipping for the last several years. And in this video, I'm going to talk about the Facebook marketplace. More importantly, how to add full automation to our Facebook marketplace so we can really scale our stores and do so like we've been doing on other selling channels like eBay, Shopify, and more that we have coming soon. Download and install the AutoDS Facebook dropshipping helper extension. So here it is over here and I'm going to leave a link to it right under this video so you can download and install it really fast and easy once you have that installed you'll see it here as you see on my screen on the top right and if i click on it it'll show me which store or better yet it'll ask me which store i would like to connect in this case i only have one facebook store so it already chose that then i'm going to click on next so welcome to facebook monitoring choose your store if you don't have a store you need to open a new store so you do that on the facebook marketplace go to your facebook account enable the marketplace and the next step in the extension is to click on next then you have the facebook monitoring sync range how fast you want the system to synchronize your products with AutoDS, what you have on your facebook store with AutoDS, with your supplier so when your supplier changes the prices the stocks and so forth AutoDS will make those changes on your store too we're going to leave it on 24 hours and then we're going to click on sync now so if i have any products on my facebook store on AutoDS, but it's not on the facebook marketplace it will tell me that right now now what i'm going to do is head over to the facebook marketplace on the left side i'm going to click on create new listing on the listing type i'll choose item for sale and as you see i have a button here paste from auto ds this is available from the auto ds facebook helper extension that we downloaded and installed and on top of that you can see that we have a drop down menu with a product some floor lamp so what this is is a product that we have on the facebook store on auto ds that wasn't uploaded to facebook yet so if i would want to import this product from auto ds to facebook i would simply choose it this is what you do when you connect auto ds to facebook for the first time and you have products that are not listed on facebook yet but you have added them on auto ds back to the facebook marketplace we're going to click on paste info from auto ds now what's happening is all of the products information are slowly being transferred from AutoDS to Facebook. So you can see here that the product's title has already transferred itself. The product's details have also transferred from AutoDS to here to our the Facebook marketplace. And now the images are slowly starting to add themselves too. So we can see here on the left side that they're being uploaded. I'm not doing anything besides talking to you guys and everything is being automated for me. So as you can see over here, it pretty much finished the first part of the upload process. So let's see exactly what it did. And that's exactly how long it took, by the way. Just about 10 seconds from clicking that button. We already have our first draft here. We didn't have to download all of the products images one by one. But let's continue and get to the actual automation settings besides the product importer that we just saw, which is already really good. Nice enough as it is. As you see over here, it took care of all of the line breaks. It's split into paragraphs. You can try to touch it up some more, fine tune it a little, a little bit more. I would definitely optimize the product's title so it won't be exactly the same with the brand's name and all of that. The price is $13. So let's go back to the price that we had to the supplier. It was $8.99. And AutoDS automatically added my personal profit range, what I would like to profit from this product. I know that the Facebook marketplace is going to charge me with a 5% transaction fee. But besides that, the rest of the profit is yours to be had. So in this case, I'm going to leave it as it is at $13. In the category, you already have recommended categories that Facebook added here. So I'm just going to click on kitchen scales and it automatically added it to that category. The condition is new. And here in the products description, you can start editing the products description to just make it a little bit more readable and make it look a little bit better for the viewer. So here I would add a line break here too also here and you can see the changes being implemented on the right side just make it look better make it more readable and once you're done with that continue scrolling down in the brand you can write branded or you can actually write the brand's name do whatever is good for you the sku can be left blank then i'm going to click on next now we're at the product's location so the location i'll leave it at, at atlanta so if you're drop shipping on the facebook marketplace you're drop shipping to a u.s audience you're drop shipping products from the u.s to get fast shipping and be able to ship it with ups or usps or fedex the shipping companies that facebook wants to see and they can track it and it's also for your own protection so you can leave the product location at any place in the u.s but the delivery method do make sure that you enable the shipping options as you can see over here so we got shipping and local pickup shipping option 
we're not going to use a prepaid shipping label, but we will use your own shipping label. So click on that. The shipping rate is absolutely free. So we're going to enable free shipping. You can do it by clicking in this box, turn on free shipping for buyers. Okay. And that pretty much sums that up. Now we can go ahead and click on next. Now, if you don't have the shipping settings, you might not be from the US and you won't be able to see shipping options at this time. We're always focused and keeping our eyes on everything that we can and cannot do on the Facebook marketplace. So if you're drop shipping internationally, the Facebook marketplace may not be the right place for you at this time. This might improve later and I will definitely keep you guys updated on that. Now let's go back. Now in the next screen, Facebook is asking me if I would like to allow the buyer to make an offer. So the price right now is 13 or $14. So this way they will be able to make an offer and then you can choose if you want to accept that offer or decline it. That is absolutely up to you. So I will definitely turn this feature on because I do want to see more people trying to negotiate with me and this way I will be able to close more sales. So over here, the minimum price I'll consider in this case, let's say $10, let's go with that click on next and now it's asking me where I would like to list this product so of course I'm going to list it publicly on the marketplace I enabled shipping options which means all of the 50 states in the US are going to see this listing which means many people are going to see it and many people are going to buy it because there's absolutely no competition at this time next you can also list this product to different Facebook groups and I definitely recommend to do this to get more people to see your product once you're done go ahead and click on publish and that is all there is to it AutoDS will automatically monitor the price and the stocks for this item and for every other product that you upload to the Facebook marketplace so you can now have hundreds to thousands of listings and every time the supplier changes the stock or the price on one of them you don't have to do anything as long as you have the extension right here it's synchronizing with all of your suppliers all of the prices and all of the stock and you don't have to do anything the prices will change automatically according to your profit margin settings on auto ds that pretty much sums up how to use the facebook marketplace dropshipping tool to import products to your store how to do the import process how to connect your facebook store to begin with and most importantly start monitoring your prices and your stock so full automation it's finally here enjoy it guys let me know if you have any questions or comments and i will happily answer them below do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to always stay updated on all of the latest features that we have coming out and so much more. See you in the future videos.